Fox 59 Morning News. News that works for you. Right now we are talking about camping and stuff. Your mom may have told you, go outside and enjoy the great outdoors. Now, if you didn't listen to mom, maybe you'll listen to our next guest. Brian Brody is an outdoors adventure expert, and he is here to help us prepare for things like hiking and camping. Good to see you, Brian. Boy, Scott, I should have camped out last night. Gas $1.99. Yeah, I know. Where was I, I sleeping? There's already a line for it already, <laughs> so that's pretty them. cool. That's All great. Right, aside from just camping and the fact that it's fun, it's good for your mental well-being, isn't it? Well, you know, doctors now tell us that anything that you do that's brand new to you mm -hmm. or the time that you spend outside, it makes your mind actually smarter, sharper, stronger. That the neurons and the dentrite, it's all the, you know, the scientific stuff, they show that it's actually healthy for you. In I call them mind-ups. Right. It's got just like push-ups or sit-ups or pull-ups. Outdoor adventure just like mind-ups. Exercises for your mind. Well, apparently you're, you're, uh, you're psyched up right now. You're, you're seeming like you're already in the gear to do it. Go I ahead am. and tell us a little bit about some of the stuff you brought. This is uh, obviously a tent. You know, I've been very fortunate to be able to travel uh, pretty much all over North America. I just got back a little bit ago from China even. Okay. And people ask all the times in terms of being an explorer or outdoor adventure, how'd you get your start? Just like you said about mom, right. a tent in the backyard, Scott. So I brought this one from a company called Field and Stream. It's a tent, four poles, goes up like that. You can grab a sleeping bag, same kind of thing, grab the Field and Stream bag, throw it out in the backyard, put the kids in it, then they have their start of being all the explorer I've ever been. I and mean, it doesn't have to be extreme. You can do it right in your own backyard. Yeah, and all the while doing this, you're talking about being eco-friendly too, right? Well, yeah, you know, a lot of times when you hear about the green message, people go, recycle your cans, recycle your bottles, all great, but I kind of like to remind people what it is we're saving. Mm -hmm. You know, polar bears just went on the threatened list last week, and people go, what about global warming, what about this and the like? Mm -hmm. I just like to remind folks, if you haven't spent time outside, then maybe you don't realize what the conservation movement is. Maybe you, you don't have a personal understanding of what it is we're all trying to save, so in addition to the recycling, get out, enjoy. If you haven't seen the sunset in a while, once you do, you want to be all the, uh, you know, you want to be as eco friendly as you and I are. There you go. And I believe we also have some pictures of your camper, the Lance Camper. The Lance Camper, yeah. I'm very lucky to be able to travel the country now. It's designed, I'm able to live, eat, drink, sleep, all that, and all of the adventures. I get that Lance Camper as far as I can go, and then I'll hike or bike or rock climb or kayak. It's wind powered, solar powered, runs wind on Wind powered, solar powered? Yeah. Wow. Solar panels are on top of the Lance Camper. There's a telescoping wind uh, meter that goes up as well. So I'm, I'm really kind of digging it. Geez, where can we buy one of those? That'd well, be great. That's a great question. You know what? I know that the folks out in California is where Lance is manufactured. The Ford's a regular old Ford you can get anywhere. So, okay, yeah, cool. What deal. do we have here? Some stuff to bring along when you're camping or hiking? I did. You know what? I brought this given tonight's forecast. People have heard of Gore-Tex. A lot of people, Scott, don't know that Gore-Tex is manufactured. You use the tent for shelter mm -hmm. when you're sleeping. Gore-Tex Windproof, waterproof, it's great for uh, you know like emergency situations. Right. You want to be able to keep dry, so I brought that. Of course, a first aid kit, this is for you. Uh, pick one by a company called Adventure Medical Kit, Scott, because it's designed by a medical doctor. But more importantly, I got all my little stuff in here. Nice and, and each compact. of the compartments, you see this easy care system, you open it up, there's a little card. So in that emergency situation where you're going, hey, now I'm bleeding, what am I gonna do? It's a card that walks you down every step of what you need to do, kind of like having a doctor there going, slow so you're down, ready. All right. take a deep breath. got about 15 ready. seconds, unfortunately. What else okay. you got? I brought water from Catanine. This is the way I'm able to purify my water. And then a spot unit. What's kind of cool about this, Scott, you hit the button. If you're in an emergency situation, it tracks you within five meters anywhere on the earth. Oh, nice say, GPS. Hey, here you go. But if you're in a good way, you're not in an emergency situation, you can send a little message to folks going, I'm going to stay out a little longer than I thought I was. Okay. Don't send out the National Guard. I'll be okay. A little unit from spot. All right. Do you have a website people can go to get all this information? I do. I'm sure you all will link to it. It's brianbrody.com, mm -hmm. and I'll be hanging out here in town this weekend as well. All right. Where? Uh, Dick Sporting Goods. I believe they put it up in Dick Sporting Goods in Greenwood today, 4 to 9, tomorrow, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., and then Sunday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. All right, Brody. Good stuff. Thanks Thank for you, being here. Nice we to appreciate see you. Thank it. You so All much. right. Don't forget, go camping. It always sounds like a good time.